Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Raditz Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Back off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. That's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The dark elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, light elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. Huh. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alfheim. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Hold on. I hear something out there. 
something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that reason from above. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. My frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Uh -oh. uh, very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? <laughs> Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the world. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. he involved long ago Freyr of the Vani traveled to Alfheim where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war using his divine powers he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves of Cavassia's poems.
Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya's. While knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes <laughs> to find. <laughs> it's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but... The realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Yes, some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's 
the light. Ah. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success to see the no! Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, <laughs> thus when the Light Elves were born. Maybe a different angle? I imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Try to wait. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves <laughs> use Alpine's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland <laughs> soon after the creation of this temple. More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Gracia.
Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain? Elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. There, 